Hello whiskey lovers and welcome to another one of Mark's Whiskey Ramblings. Today I would like to talk to you about a brand new distillery. Well, more or less, more or less, Dalmonach. Now you may remember the Imperial Distillery, which by now is a lost legend. It was closed in 1998 and demolished in 2013. But the owners, Shiva's brothers, they built a brand new and very green distillery on the very same premises, Dalmanach Distillery. For the longest time, Glen Karen was the name in the running, but in the end, Chivas decided to call it uh, Dalmonach, named after a local water source that they are now using. A fun fact is that they built a very green distillery. They want to keep their ecological footprint as small as possible. And they even reused some of the wood of the Imperial Distillery's washbacks to create the, uh, the, the door that leads to the distillery. And even some bricks were reused in the entrance of the distillery as well. Sort of like an homage to the old Imperial Distillery. But since 2014, the Dalmonach Distillery is operational but you will not find that many official releases. In fact, at the moment there are none because Shivas purposely built the Dalmanach distillery as a, uh, a distillery to create malts for their popular blends, you know. So if you want to try a Dalmanach, you'll have to look at independent releases. And this is one of those. This is from Duncan Taylor in their series, The Octave, which is actually a small cask uh, in which they finish their malts. And what I have here is the uh, the final bit, in fact, of uh, one of those. So initially, the Dalmonach um, uh, whiskey, the malt, the spirit, matured for six years on a regular cask, and then it was put into a smaller cask, an octave, which is one eighth of, of, of a cask, and there it spent another three months. Now that octave was sherry wood, and that you can see clearly, uh, smaller cask, sherry wood. So very very intense interaction between the whiskey and the cask leading to this beautiful color this is bottled at the age of six years old and it is bottled at 53.3 percent abv and you will find that duncan taylor has released quite a few of these little octave single casks uh, for for several uh, retailers clubs whatnot and this particular bottle was exclusively bottled for St. Mac. St. Mac is a Belgian whiskey shop. Uh, and my good friend, Gunter Mone, is the owner of the uh, St. Mac shop. So he selected this cask. And uh, the, the little octave yielded only 65, I think. 65 bottles, does it say? It was something like that. Yes, 65 bottles only. So a very, very low uh, yield. And that's the one I would like to try today. Together with you. A Dalmonach 2015 Sherrywood 53.3% ABV, beautiful amber color on the nose. Oh. Remember, this is only six years old, but I get this beautiful, this beautiful notes of all kinds of fruity and candy-like notes, poached pears as well, sweet apples, a bit of candy floss, lots of caramel. Some vanilla custard in there, some roasted hazelnuts, buttered popcorn, just a slight hint of ginger, and a touch of wood in the background, but not at all disturbing. Considering the fact that this is such a young malt, it's already got a very broad spectrum on the nose. Quite inviting on the palate then. Mmm. Good body, a good strength, no bite at all. Surely the arrival is quite sturdy, but there's not really a bite. I get milk chocolate, I get fudge and caramel, some peaches with honey, some rum raisins, but I also get a bit of salted caramel now, and some chewing tobacco, clearly influences from the little sherry wood casks there. And again, that touch of wood, giving it some spices, some cloves, a bit of nutmeg as well, but the wood actually gives this character depth and complexity. It's not oaky at all. This is very nice, very nice indeed on the finish then. That is a surprisingly long, quite satisfying finish. Warm spices now, a hint of candied ginger, the wood spices, again, those linger nicely, giving your, your mouth a nice, warm feeling. Mm. 
Very good indeed. Well, a great cask selection. So, Gunther, if you're watching, kudos, my friend. You've selected an excellent cask of this young and unknown new single malt Dalmonach. And it's surprisingly how good young whiskey can actually be if it gets the correct wood. And in this case, this clearly was good wood. Mm, lovely. And I'm not at all surprised that the, uh, the 65 bottles, as soon as St. Mac announced that they were uh, putting out this whiskey, that it was available, it sold out in a flash. I am not surprised and I'm just happy that I was able to get one of those uh, 65 bottles indeed. And as you can see, sharing is caring. It did not last long. And that, my friends, is all for this Whiskey Rambling, the Dalmonach 2015 for St. Mac. And I hope to see you at one of Mark's Whiskey Ramblings real soon. And until then, may the malt be with you. Bye-bye.